If you create a private team, nobody can join that team unless you add them or invite them. It is more common that you add people directly, but you may prefer to send them an invitation, giving each user the option to join if they want. We saw the member side of receiving invitations to a private team in the video on joining existing teams. Now we're going to see what the team owner has to do to send those invitations. So I made this testing teams private and there's a button to the right with three little dots click on that and it opens up this menu from here you can click get link to team and i can click this copy button and paste the link into an email or something that i can use to send out the link Any member of the team that gets this link can send it to anyone else. However, it is important that if somebody clicks the link, that it will send the request to the team owner asking for the permission to join the team. If you create the team, by default, you are the team owner. Any member can send a link, but only the owner can approve the request to join. The team owner will get an email or a notification in Teams when somebody clicks the link and the request will be sent to the owner. You can manually check to see if there are any pending requests. This is my trainer account, and I'm going to click join. Going back to my main account with the three dots, manage teams, and I can see any pending requests. So I can see that trainer has requested to join the team through the links that I sent earlier. Now I can accept or deny the request. So I'll click accept. And now trainer has been added as a member of the team. Now the other option is to send a code to somebody to join a team and only the owner can get the code and send it. So once again, we'll go to the buttons with the three dots, click it manage teams and click settings through here go and navigate to team code now you may already see a code or you may need to click the button to generate a code That shows the code to join the teams directly. And as it says here, if somebody uses the code to join the team, the owner does not have to approve the request. This is a code to give somebody direct access to join the team. So you can copy this code and paste it into an email. Then send it to whoever you want to have access to join the team. When somebody receives that code, they'll just need to go into Teams. I'm going to use my second account. Go into Teams, click Teams. Then scroll to the bottom and click the option to join or create a team. You can just write in or paste the code in this join a team with code. Then you'll have the option to join the team. When they do that, 
you'll immediately become a member of the team. So if you have the need to create a private team and control who's allowed to join, the link or code to that team might be what you need.